Hey everyone, it's CL, and this week I had planned to post a video on like genrethon wrap up, which is the readathon that took place last week um, and just ended recently. I believe it ended yesterday, but it turns out I did not finish reading any books last week. Like I continued reading books um, that I had started like the week before that readathon started, and I started a lot of books, but I didn't finish anything. So I am not going to post any sort of genrethon wrap up because I didn't achieve anything. But so instead for right now, I am going to instead post a video on what I did this weekend. Um, Cause I want to post something, right? And if you're at all curious what a boring person does during the weekend, stay tuned because I will let you know. So that's what I have for you so far. So I hope you stay tuned and that's all I have. So we started off the weekend by going to the movie theater on Saturday morning to watch The Jungle Book, which by the way is a really good movie and well, for one, I will never move to the jungle because even though the animals are really cute, they are kind of scary when they're trying to eat you. So, but I do recommend the movie and the trailers that played beforehand were really good. There's a lot of great movies coming out. This is just the popcorn seasoning that they supply at our theater and my favorite is the nacho cheese. It's so good. Well, the movie hadn't started yet and I was filming my kid wearing her 3D glasses because I thought she looked really cute. And you can't hear her in this clip but she is telling me to turn off my cell phone because apparently she is the only responsible one out of the group. So after the movie theater, we headed over to GameStop to see if they have yokai medals. That is something that my daughter collects. And one thing I love about video games, me and my husband grew up with video games. So when we buy a video game, it's very much like a family activity. And there's my daughter. She found her yokai medals uh, because that's the way we grew up. And so when we buy a game, we ended up buying this game here, Pokin Tournament, that me and my daughter have been playing a lot. Um, when we buy a game, it's really a family activity. Like we are all in this living room together. We're all either I'm watching my husband play or I'm playing a game with my daughter. So it's like a family time for us. I'm just walking around looking at all the little toys. And I found Naruto boxer shorts. That is something I will refuse to buy. As much as I love Naruto, I am not buying boxer shorts with his face on it. And last weekend, we ended up eating at one of my favorite restaurants, which is Joe's Crab Shack. And when you order a steam pot, they give you like a bib and they write something clever on it. My bib said steamy mama crab. And this is our bucket of utensils. Ours was actually lacking, but they do give you a lot of utensils. And this is my steam pot. My daughter got the captain's catch. And my husband got a steam pot as well. So after eating at Joe's, we went and got some frozen yogurt. And if you're the type of person that doesn't like when your flavors touch, you can use like a divider. But me and my family, we don't really care if everything meshes together. And that one is my husband's. He, he always jam packs his. After filling our bellies, we headed over to Barnes & Noble. And it feels like every vlog I do includes Barnes & Nobles just because I'm there all the time. And I was looking at these little architecture things that you can put together. Now these look so stressful to me. Like this would not relax me at all. Like the parts are so tiny. I like the end result, but I don't think I would really like putting it together myself. Here we have Sailor Moon, and I used to be obsessed with Sailor Moon when I was little. And actually, um, Sailor Moon and Tuxedo Mask was the very first couple that I shipped in a fandom when I was younger. Look at these stuffed animals. Look at their eyes. They're just looking at you saying, take me home, take me home. We probably have like 10 of these because every time we go to Barnes & Noble, uh, more often than not, we leave with these because they're so cheap too. They're like six bucks, five or six bucks. and. They're so adorable. This book here, The One and Only Ivan, I'm currently reading it as an ebook and I'm really enjoying it so far, but it's a little sad. The Wild Robot. Um, I don't know much about this title, but it, the, the title made me curious and when I looked up the reviews, it got really good reviews, so I think I'll check it out one day. The Sugar Skulls coloring book, and I actually think Sugar Skulls are really pretty. And look how big this coloring book is. It's ginormous. And here we have Naruto mangas, and once you get into a fandom, you will see their stuff everywhere. 
I actually thought this book cover looked really neat and I thought about maybe buying it, but I looked it up and it didn't even get very good reviews, but maybe I'll check it out one day. This has got to be the ugliest book cover I have ever seen. I just do not like it. It reminds me of poop. This book was pretty cool. It's the Pessimist Handbook on one side. You flip it over, turn it around, and it's the Optimist Handbook on the other side. So one of my most favorite things that I did today was actually just being outside. Like it was so sunny and warm and it feels like I was just like shut away in a cave for a super long time. There we have my daughter who is just disregarding the stairs completely. She calls it a shortcut, but I went ahead and still used the stairs. So one of the things that you are required to do as a mom is to hold dandelions in your pocket even though you know that they will shrivel up and die, but you still do it because you were asked to. Now I actually thought this was poop. I was like, what is this? Um, it's actually mushrooms, wild mushrooms. I'm like, who didn't pick up their dog poop? But actually it was Mother Nature. Mother Nature didn't pick up her mushroom poop. So after spending time at the park, we went home to relax and my husband is playing Assassin's Creed. My daughter is playing Pokin Tournament, which she's actually pretty good for only being six and not having played too many video games. Um, but yeah, that is essentially how my weekend went. I know it wasn't super exciting, but I had a really lovely time and I love spending time with my family. So yep, that is what a boring person does on the weekend. I should say the end, but I do have one final clip to share with you all today because you're probably wondering, why is CL doing a voiceover? My bonus clip of the day is showing you all my very first attempt at vlogging in public. And this clip actually is three seconds long, but I slowed it down so I can talk a little bit. Now, I was getting ready to vlog and I'm pinching my ear because I'm super nervous. And three seconds later, I abandoned all attempts at vlogging in public because I was getting too much anxiety and it was just too weird for me. I felt like everyone was staring at me. But if you look at the still shot, look at the people in the background, nobody is looking at me. Nobody cares. So maybe one day I will get better at vlogging, but for now, all I have is a voiceover. But anyways, thank you all for watching.